right, welcome to today's 2 p.m. touch point at Great Commission Church. We're uh, increasing our ministry and temporarily going online. Every day at 2 p.m. we're looking into the scriptures uh, with different topics. Today we're looking at discipleship and how serious discipleship is, that it's something that you have to uh, consider the cost of discipleship. A used car may have thousands of useful miles left in it. You can find a use for a used car, but a match, a used match, try all you like, it's pretty difficult to come up with a useful function for a used match. Because lighting a new fire demands a new source of life. In, in a similar way, the Christian life, it is a new life. It is a rebirth. It is a fresh source of life released into someone who was formerly dead. And the best way to live that life is not by going back to the old life of sin, because you can pay nothing to earn salvation. Yet living for Christ is a serious matter of discipleship. To be a Christian means to rely on Christ's power rather than your own, and to be willing to forsake your way for His. Being a Christian can mean facing persecution, ridicule, tribulation, pain, suffering. Uh, Jesus warned His disciples in John 15, 20. He says, Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they're going to per persecute you also. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. But with His warning about the cost of His discipleship, the Lord promised that your heart would rejoice. John 16, 22, it says, Therefore you now have sorrow, but I will see you again. Jesus said, And your heart will rejoice, and your joy no one will take from you. And He also told His disciples in John 16, 33, He says, These things I have spoken to you, that in Me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world, Jesus says. You won't escape the difficulties of being a disciple, but Jesus will enable you to handle them. This has been your 2 p.m. Touchpoint. I'll see you tomorrow.